In this video, we're going to go through how you can manage your files and documents in Goodreader. I have done two previous videos on Goodreader, one on how to get files in and out of Goodreader, the other on how to edit and annotate a PDF. So see below for the links to those videos. Let's open Goodreader. And I already have um, a whole lot of folders and documents in Goodreader. So if I scroll up and down, you can see them all. And if you don't do a bit of tidying up and putting them into folders and renaming them and archiving them, then you're going to get a big long mess like I've got, which is just a, arranged in alphabetical order by file. But really, is I haven't done much to organise or manage this in some time. Every time you bring in a document, it goes onto your reading pane. So if I was to open that one, I can start accumulating a whole lot of files in the reading pane. But up the top there, all of the different documents that I have open, that dark color one on the right is the active document, and then I can just move across to all the other documents. So part of management is just shutting them down. So there's a little cross there on the right hand side. You Tap those just to shut them down. Tap the name, you can duplicate that tab, delete the file straight from there, or you could rename the file. So if I tap rename file, then I can delete the whole thing or delete part of it and just change it to something different. And then close it. And it'll still be, if I close it, and go back to my documents, it'll still be sitting in this list of files here. Niche selection, there it is there. That's the one I just changed. So my documents is your reading area. And I'm back at the main document area. If I want to go back to where I was, there is a button there, back to reading. And it'll take you back to that document you were looking at. So I'm going to upload some documents from my computer. To do that, I need to connect to a server and an explanation of how to do this is in a previous video see the link so i want to connect to my computer because i have a folder of photos on the desktop in that computer that i want to put into the ipad so it's on my desktop so i've got to navigate to the desktop and it's called dog pics and i want to take the whole folder tap the actual arrow I can pick just those pictures I want to upload, but I want to take the whole folder. So I'm going to tap the folder and then tap download. Now it's going to download them from my computer into my iPad. Then I can decide where in Goodreader do I want those folders of photos to go. Do I want to put it inside an existing folder? So I might put it inside Harry, who's the dog or I can just add it on its own. So I'm just going to download the folder here, which means it's just going to drop it there and add a new folder. And then you've got to tap Upload, Cancel. And you can see on the right there that it's already finished. It's been that quick. The dog pics have been downloaded. So if I close that and go back to the documents, there should be a folder called Doc Pics. So there they are there, and now I can move those into another folder so how do you move documents we go to manage files so we'll go back to home manage files and there are a whole lot of options for things you can do to manage your files and as soon as you've selected a file those options will come up because at the moment are very little there so i want to take the dog pics and move them into the Harry folder. Now, if I did that, it's going to take the whole folder and move that folder into the Harry folder and create a subfolder, which is not what I want to do. I want to take the pictures individually. So I'm going to cancel all that, go into the actual folder. So I'm going to open the folder to do done first, get out of manage files, open the folder, manage the files, and now select the pictures. Then tap move. I want them to go into this folder. So I'm going to tap that folder and move five items here. And done. So I'm going to go back to my documents. You can see the folder has nothing in it now. It's got zero. They've all been moved. 
and they're all sitting in this folder, all there. So it's one way of managing your files, moving your documents within folders uh, into another folder and then deleting that empty folder. So to manage the files, I'm going to select the dog files folder and then tap delete and delete that folder so I don't need it anymore. So deleting files, you can see there's a, a lot of files down here that I've got multiples of that I might not need anymore. So if I want to delete them, manage files, select the files that I don't need anymore, select that one I don't need, this one. So picking all the files that you don't need any longer. And then you can delete them all at the one time. So I don't need that one, that one. And try and tidy it up. So then delete. And all those five files will be deleted in one go. So you can start to clean it up a bit. So if I tap that document, I can read that document, Word document, but I can't edit it. You can only edit and annotate and navigate and use all of the tools with a PDF document. So there's nothing I can do to this one apart from use it to read that document. If I wanted to edit or add, add my own notes, then I would have to do that in Word. Go back to Word, save that document as a PDF, and then import it into Goodreader. Now you can rename files from uh, the My Documents library. So again, Manage Files. Select the file I want to rename. So this one's a bit vague, so I'm going to select that one, and then I can rename it. Just make it a bit easier to understand what that document is, Adobe Audition, and then OK. So that renames it. You can open documents here in another app. So I have a video, as time goes by, which is a, a, a TV episode, and I want to open that in iMovie so I can do a bit of editing. So Manage Files is still highlighted, so now I can select that file. And then I've got an open in link. So when you tap open in, any app that is sitting on my iPad that is able to deal with MP4s will be in that list. So as I go through, there's a video player there, Oplayer HD Lite, but I want to put it into iMovie. So I need to look for my apps till I see iMovie. Open it in iMovie. And if that file is compatible with iMovie, that will work. Now, it's a fairly big file, so it might take a few minutes for that to happen. It opens up iMovie, and I can create a new movie. And the, there's the actual episode here where I can start doing some editing with it. And so what it's done, it's dropped me out of Goodreader at this point. I'm now in iMovie, so I have to... Hit the home button and go back in. You can also zip files. So if I needed to archive a group of files, maybe I need to email that to somebody or I want to move it uh, onto one of my cloud drives like Google Drive or Dropbox, but it's too big to do them one by one. I can zip them. So I've got a number of, of PDFs here that I want to zip up, but I also want to archive them and upload them to my Dropbox. So let's do both of those things. Manage files is highlighted. So I need to select all of those PDFs and zip them. And all zips are called archive.zip. So you really need to rename those archive.zip. Because if I do another zip, it'll be archive1.zip. But if I do another archive after that, archive2.zip. So you don't want to confuse yourself. And you really want to know what's that archive all about. So I'm going to select that file and rename it. And these are called the social media cheat sheets. So that's the name of the archive. And it's a zip file. And the only thing that can open a zip file is an application that can open zips. So I could download this and open it in uh, Word, for example, but it wouldn't be able to open a zip. Really what I want to do with it is put it into Dropbox and then if I need to use it, I can download it to my computer or back into uh, 
good reader and unzip it. So what I would do with it now, while it's highlighted, social media cheat sheets, I'd select it, and then I want to upload it to Dropbox. And I've already connected the server Dropbox through that Connect tab, so it knows my Dropbox credentials. I can select a folder to put it into. So I'm going to put it into this folder, just tap that arrow to open the folder, and then Upload and upload one item. And you can see it's progress. It doesn't take very long because it's not a very long file. And then close. So if I was to look at my Dropbox, so connect into Dropbox and into Digital Products and Marketing, there would be a file down at the bottom there, Social Media Cheat Sheet Zip. And then what I really need to do now is put these single files. When it zips it, it still leaves the originals there. I'm going to create a new folder. So manage files, new folder. And then I want to move those files into that folder. So again, manage files is highlighted. Select all of those individual PDFs and then move them into that folder. Move the five items and then delete the zip files. Seem to have two of them because I forgot I've already done it. Delete the, the archives. In the folder, social media cheat sheets, do done to open the folder, is the files. So moving folders, creating folders, moving files, create folders just to neaten everything up and make it a little bit more efficient. You can star files, so if you're wanting to filter files, I've got some manuals there. So if I went to Manage Files, and I've got a manual here. This is an, uh, another manual. And then I select Star. So there's a Star button here, and I can decide what color do I want that to be. So I'll make those blue. And then when I look down there, those files have been highlighted blue. And then do done. Now, if I'm looking for those files later on, and I want all of those manuals, I can go into my starred files and pick the, the color that I want. I haven't got anything in other colors, but I've got some blue ones. And then I can go and quickly see where they are and then open that. Tap on it to open it. Manage files. And if you want to unstar them, just tap the star and tap the no star color. So I'm going to turn them off. Starring files is, is a way of filtering them so you can find them later. If you want to copy a file, uh, manage file, select the file and you can copy. And I want it to go into the documents window, copy one item here. So it gives you another copy of that file with the word copy on the end of it that you can edit and annotate and keep your original. If I don't need it, I'm going to delete it. If you wanted to copy some text, open that document. And I want some text out of this document. It's a 192 page ebook. And I don't want all of it, I just want a little bit of it. And I want to put that into another document. So with the text open in the reading pane, I can just tap and hold and highlight the text and copy it. So when you've copied some text, you can create a new text file. So if I can go back to my documents and do a new text file, call that battery information, OK, and tap and hold, I can paste that text that I copied from that other document and I can keep editing it. I might want to type my own notes to it. It's only a text file, so that's all you can do is do text. Save and close that file. Go back to Documents. And what I can do with that then is now email it. So if I want to manage the files, select the file, then I can email that file. And it will open up an email message with the file already appended, attached, which you can then just address. So if you want to get some text out, copy some text from a PDF document, that's one way you can do it. So in this video, I looked at uh, some of the ways that you can manage your documents and files using Goodreader.